Welcome back to another episode of Let's Get Unreal, where I'm recreating the island from Lost in Unreal Engine 5. It's Brant, not Brent here, and today I'm going to be building the wreckage of Oceanic Flight 815. Oceanic Flight 815 was a commercial flight scheduled out of Sydney, Australia to Los Angeles, California on September 22, 2004 at 4.16 p.m. The flight experienced a radio failure six hours after takeoff, which led to the pilot turning around to land on one of the Fiji Islands. But two hours later, the plane had veered off course by approximately 1,000 miles and flew over the island from Lost somewhere over the Pacific Ocean. Of the 324 passengers on board the flight, only 71 survived and served as some of the main characters of the show. The plane crash is of course vital to the plot of the show as it's the central moment in Lost that starts its plotline and begins the chronological order of the main character's adventures on the island. Now for some technical details on the plane. The plane involved in the crash was a Boeing 777-200ER. Please note that this model being used in my recreation of Lost Island is not an exact copy of this plane. The model that I'm using is in fact a slightly modified Boeing 737. The main differences between a 737 and a 777 are mainly size and range. The 737 is a couple of decades older and is also a short range to medium range aircraft, whereas the 777 on the show is a long range airplane, which explains why they would be using it to fly from Sydney to Los Angeles. Now I should also let you guys know that this plane was purchased as a pack on the Epic Marketplace on sale. So if you can find it for a similar sale, I say go for it. Back to the crash. The beach wreckage is considered the middle section of the plane and is located on a beach. It includes part of the business class where Boone and Shannon were also seated. At least 48 passengers from the middle section survived the immediate crash, although one of the survivors died when he was spectacularly sucked into an engine causing it to explode. Parts of the wreckage of the middle section were used by the survivors to build various shelters along the beach. I'll be covering this building in a future video though. So what was the cause of the crash you might be wondering? Major spoiler incoming in case you haven't seen the show yet. On the 22nd day of September 2004, the Swan Station was left unmanned for a period of time while Desmond Hume went after Kelvin Inman. Desmond's station mate during one of his trips out of the hatch. Due to the confrontation between the two men, Desmond was not able to return to the hatch in time to enter the number sequence. This resulted in a system failure. At 1616, an electromagnetic pulse was triggered from the Swan Station just as Oceanic Flight 815 was passing over the island. The pulse either caused or contributed to the crash by destroying the onboard electronics, communication systems, and flight controls. To this day, it is still unclear if the crash of the plane was deliberate or not. Many theories back up the idea that the crashing of the plane was an elaborate plan by Jacob to bring candidates to the island, but there is no real proof to determine if the actual crashing of the plane was intentional. So obviously I've taken some artistic liberty here in the recreation of the crash. As I mentioned earlier, it's of course a different model jetliner, but also the parts and pieces of the plane I had to work with were limited compared to that of the show. I like to imagine during a plane crash, there's tons of clothes spewed all about from the suitcases opening up, scattering everything everywhere. I also like to imagine that the survivors had built these fires out of some crates and wood they found in the baggage area of the plane. So these fires are not directly from the crash, but more for keeping warm and lighting at night. So there you have it guys, my vision of the crash of Oceanic Flight 815. I thought this one was really fun to build and I'm super excited at the way this part of the island is coming together. Next, I want to keep working on the beach and start putting up some of the campsites as well as a lot of the other details to make everything look more realistic. As always, here's a look of a little playthrough and a couple shots I put together. Thanks again for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. See you all again on the next episode of Let's Get Unreal.